My name is Lars, and from August 2020, I'm the new principal of IABC, International Apostolic Bible College in Denmark. The Bible School needs a new start, a new momentum, and in this video I will present my thoughts, vision, and plans for how to make that happen. During World War II, the dream of building a Bible school that would train young Christian leaders to impact Europe with the gospel was born. It was an almost impossible idea, a dream so far out that it only succeeded because of unity and because of a bunch of people that dared to believe God for greater things. The Bible school was launched in 1957. Since then, more than 5,000 students have been trained and sent out to start churches, Bible schools and movements actually all over the world. In Africa, nations has literally been shaped by students from the Bible school. They have started new Bible schools, hundreds of churches, and successful businesses all over the continent. In the Muslim country of Pakistan, more than 180 churches, primary schools, lots of them, shelters, and more than 100 sewing schools has been started and now creates jobs and opportunities for poor people all over the country. In Romania, an extensive work in the prisons is literally changing the society from the inside out, one person at a time. It's also ignited and led by a former student at the Bible school. Movements, church life on several continents has been shaped and changed by people who were trained at the Bible college in Colling. This is the legacy that inspires me and gives me the faith for the future. The Bible school has been through a difficult season with a lack of students. It's honest talk, and it's also something that I believe that we can do something about. I really believe that the need to train and equip a new young generation to know God and make him known in all of society is greater than ever before. It's my conviction that every person holds the keys to greatness inside of them. That inspires me in the way I work with people, the way I view people. We are here to assist people in finding the gold mine on the inside of themselves and to develop that one into a purpose that will help them make a difference for the kingdom of God in this time and season. The football clubs have their academies. That has changed the football leagues in Europe and raised the quality of football for us football viewers to a whole new level. The charismatic churches in Europe also need an academy where talents and young people with potential are trained by the best leaders and coaches from our church's network and society. It's my goal, together with you, to make International Apostolic Bible College and Calling into that place. It's my vision to create a new Bible school with a new momentum and lots of students in a bilingual international environment. It is my plan to have 50 students from Danish and International Charismatic Churches in 2021. It's also my plan to be a high quality conference center together with a new church in town building that is being built in 2022. And then I want to build 25 new rooms for students in the beautiful park just outside the door in 2023. And it's my plan to modernize the existing building and have 125 students in 2025. Is that too much? Is it too big? Not at all. Together, we can create something absolutely new in Europe. So how do we create that change? Well, first of all, there will be a new branding of the school. We want to create a new story that is inspiring and motivating for the young generation. The name of the school will be changed. Today it has one name in Danish and another name in English, but that will change. The new name of the school will be Acts Academy. It means action, and it's also a natural continuation of the story of the Book of Acts. I like that. The young people being trained here will go out to start churches, businesses, social initiatives, Yes, they will change nation. I believe it from the bottom of my heart. When it comes to curriculum, we want to create an environment where you grow inwardly and are transformed outwardly 
to go onward to impact the world for Christ. There will be free mainstreams expressing that. Inward will be about the life of the Spirit, knowing God, knowing yourself, who you are, and why you are the way you are as a person, your identity, your inner life. Outward will be the fruit of the Spirit, your, the way you live, your character, your attitudes, and the fruits of the Spirit. Onward will be the gift of the Spirit, how you act, what you're good at, your calling, your gifting. We will make you into the best version of yourself. On the onward, we have free streams that we are working with at the moment. Free talent developing streams that we are working with. One is Creative Lab. It will be a new one and it will develop you into the best singer and worshiper you could imagine. We will also have communication and storytelling where you will learn how to communicate in a way that makes sense and make an impact. And then we will do leadership and innovation where we'll talk about startup, both businesses startup and church startup and other things around leadership and changing of culture and conflict resolution and so on. We simply want to give you a foundation of courage, of decency and generosity that will make you into a fantastic version of yourself, actually the best version of yourself. You're also upgrading our gastronomy in the house. Look forward to a great, very tasty surprises in this field. The building, if you know that one, is very old, but we will upgrade the building and bring much more light and, and the beautiful park on the outside indoor. We will put glass in the building and we will uh, renovate the rooms and other parts of the building so it will create an atmosphere and an environment for fellowship and for learning, an inspiring facility where you can grow and where you can meet new people and create new friendships. The next three years, I will have two leader jobs. I will be busy, I will work much more, but both my wife and my team here in my local church in Herning is supporting that. I do it because I believe in the school's potential. I believe in our call. I believe in us. I believe in his church. I believe in the kingdom of God. And I believe in the leading of the spirit and in timing. I challenge you to join me and believe together with me. It is now we have the chance. It is now we need to act and to write the story that can inspire our children and our children's children and give them something to aim after in the future that awaits them. God is moving, and it's now we can create something that will bring change to all of Europe. Thank you for listening, and welcome to join and be part of the journey. God bless you.